In today's video, we will talk about Adam Scott Rich Golfer's lifestyle, hot babe, no car, no worries. Bear with us till the end to know what this wealthy golfer made. Hit the subscribe button and like this video for more cool updates. Over the years, Adam Scott has become more popular and successful. But how did he get there? What's his life like now that he has reached the top? We will talk about Adam Scott's net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions in this video we have today. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with alerts tuned on before we begin the video. In order for you to not miss any new videos, when was Adam Scott 16 years old? He got the simplest overall position on the left side, making it a terrific start to the day. That's fantastic. Adam Scott, a golfer who is 40 years old, rose quickly to fame. He is a professional golfer from Australia, but primarily competes on the PGA Tour. In 2014, he held the top spot from the middle of May to the end of August. He has triumphed in 31 professional competitions worldwide. With all of his past and present accomplishments, Scott's biggest victory to date was the 2013 Masters Tournament, which was also the only Masters won by an Australian. With all of his past and present achievements, Scott currently has a net worth of about $50 million, with the majority of these earning coming from endorsements around the middle of the 2014. He ranked as the best golfer in the entire globe. However, from where do the majority of these millions of dollars come? As many may anticipate, he does make some money from his golf winnings. In reality, nearly $30 million of his career earnings came from his tour alone. However, his sponsorships are where he makes the most of his money. Rolex and Mercedes are two of his well-known sponsors, or ones with the distinctive names of these businesses. The professional golfer also previously owned a 1989 Gulfstream 4 and a 2018 Gulfstream G450, which he used to travel for golf tournaments. However, a few years ago, he decided to sell the aircraft, and although we are not sure for how much, he implied that he made a nice profit on the transaction, that he sold the aircraft after receiving an offer he couldn't refuse given all the Adam's success. Adam was born on July 16, 1980, in Adelaide, Australia, into a family of golfers. His mother and father were both golfers by the time he was born in 1989. His family relocated to the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, where he graduated from an international school at the top of his class years later. In 1993, shortly after his family was transferred to the Gold Coast, Queensland, he enrolled in Matthews, Flinders, and Jolican College to continue his studies. The institution was once renowned for its top-notch golf instruction. In actuality, Adam took off golf there as a second topic. He was significantly more skilled and talented at golf than other golfing students though, and this was obvious even throughout his time as a student when enrolled in an institute course. His participation in the Golf Australia National Squad was an immediate reward for his outstanding golf talent. Shortly after, Adam relocated to the U.S. and enrolled at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Following this, Adam married Mary Kuzar, a Swedish builder, in a private ceremony in the Bahamas in April 2014. After years of professional golfing and few relationships, Adam Hussar had previously been in a long-term relationship from the early to mid-2000s before divorcing and getting back together in 2013 and February 2015. The couple announced the birth of their first child, a daughter named Buvira Scott, who was born in Queensland, Australia, private hospital on August 18, 2017, and a few months later, a son named Byron Scott. Since then, Adam and Kuzar have been raising a happy family, enjoying life together as a couple. Now, if it weren't for his extremely successful golfing career, this happy ending might not have been conceivable. A timeline of his rise to stardom is provided here. 
His second shot was 157 yards long. The start of Adam's career occurred in 2001 when he won the Alfred Dunhill Championships, the Johan Isberg and the European Tour. It was in his first full year as a professional golfer. His year began in South Africa with his first ever professional championship event, which was sanctioned by both the European and Sunshine Tours. Even after winning one crown, Adam became Justin Rose. He finished 13th overall and had three additional top three finishers throughout the season. He had a relatively successful first season in terms of order of merit, and the following year in 2002, Adam Scott won the 2013 PGA Grand Slam Golf Tournament, where four winners competed, defeating Luke Donald and the Ricky Fowler to become the 28th best player to win a World Cup Championship event. In October, he entered ninth place in the world rankings and returned there in November. His fourth victory in the PGA Tour of Australia and Asia and fourth on the PGA Tour of the Austral Asia came a month later when he won the Australian PGA Championship. On November 16, this was swiftly followed by a triumph over the Australian Masters. After winning the 2013 Masters at the Royal Melbourne, Scott finished 2013 as the second-ranked golfer in the world making it the only Australian to date to claim the title on May 19, 2014. Adam Scott became the 17th golfer to hold the top spot since the start of the official rankings when he took over as the number one golfer in the world. Since Greg Normal in 1998, he is the first and only Australian. Following a week as the world's top golfer, Scott built his business and became the first individual to win a Texas PGA in February 2016 with a victory at the Crown Plaza Invitational in the Colonial. After winning the Honda Classic at the PGA National Golf Club, Scott earned his 12th PGA Tour victory, ending a two-year winless streak. The fact that Anna also set a record by winning the competition, despite making four boogies, over the course of the weekend is noteworthy. He returned to the top 10 in the world thanks to the victory as well. The next week, in position 9, he won back-to-back -back championships with WGC Cadillac, his second triumph in the WGC competition of 2019, his second career victory at the Australian PGA event marked his first triumph since the WGC Cadillac championship in 2016. Adam, however, took a short break in 2020. He announced that he wouldn't be playing in the first seven PGA Tour events due to safety concerns when the global health situation hit. Oops, it seems that we are running out of time. Don't forget to go without giving a thumbs up and sharing this video in your friend circle. Take care.